Chapter 1 A Crazy, Frantic Encounter It was a Monday, another frantic start of the week for Gabrielle. She was in a hurry to get into the elevator to catch up with time, to give her application to the company's Human Resources Division. The KORH and H Manufacturing Industries placed itself in this building. She ran too quickly, until she reached the elevator where too many people were waiting. Then suddenly, a group of men in black suits walked by, widening their way that those standing by the elevator must give way. A man in a blue suit and a lady a corporate attire following him and moved into the elevator. They are about to close in, when Gabrielle suddenly yells, Hey, this elevator can carry 15 people in it, your count is only 4. Why are you refusing us to get in as if the president of this country is in that elevator? All the people by the elevator were shocked and forced themselves to silence, shying away from her. The man in a black suit was about to say something when the man in the blue suit shushed him for silence. Okay, young lady, you may get in with us, said the man in a blue suit offering his hand to welcome her. With her head up, Gabrielle entered without looking at the man who allowed her in. And what floor are you going, ma'am? Queried the man beaming with a wistful smile. It's as if he was amused by how Gabrielle demanded entry to the elevator. Oh, I, I, uh, I think it's in the, wait, the human resources division. Thank you. The man in black beside him clicked the 20th button. Here you go, miss. The HR is at the right side, commented the man in a blue suit and quickly added, good luck. When the elevator closed in, all of them burst into exhilaration. And known to Gabrielle, the man in the blue suit is the CEO of the KORH and H Manufacturing Industries. His office needed the hiring applicants for an executive assistant. Gabrielle went inside the human resources division, nervous but confident, believing she'd make it. When she handed in her resume, the personnel clerk recommended that she come back the next day for the written exam since they had already reached the quota for the day. Disappointed but persistent, she requested the clerk that since she is already in the office, perhaps she be given the written exams now, and then come back tomorrow for the result of the test and probably the first interview. I have gone through some petty troubles in coming here, so I am asking for a little consideration. Please, persistent and determined to carry out something today. At the same time, Mr. Han Hyun Ki, the CEO and chairman of the company, called the Human Resources Division and talked to the HR Division head, Mrs. Romina Miranda. You have an applicant on her way to your office right now, and she is wearing a blue dress with a butterfly clip on her hair. I want you to put her in the interview panel today after she has taken the requirements for pre-interview, ordered Mr. Han. Mrs. Miranda was about to tell him that applications would resume tomorrow but quickly changed her mind and rushed out of her office to catch the lady Mr. Han described. There she is, in time of her exiting the door since the personnel clerk declined her request for consideration. Mrs. Miranda called out on her, excuse me, a young lady in blue, why are you leaving? You are not yet done. Gabrielle, surprised but amused, turned her head and stressed, but I was told by your clerk to come back tomorrow for the written exams and initial interview. The clerk, Lori, was somewhat confused about what her boss told. Gabrielle quickly handed Mrs. Miranda her resume. While reviewing her resume, she told Lori to give her the written exams and line her up for the first interview. While you are waiting for your turn to face the interview panel, we will process your written exams as you fill out the application form. Okay, said Mrs. Miranda. When seated in the testing room, she wondered why they recalled her that fast, but she set aside that thought and went through with the tests with a positive feeling. When done, Lori asked her to sit with the rest of the applicants outside the screening room, waiting for turn for the interview. Meanwhile, inside Mr. Han's office, his staff set up a camera for him to see and observe the applicants in the screening room. 